Hi, this is Leonie from Spines and Splines. This week we're addressing this distressing wardrobe situation by building a simple shoe rack using a circular saw, drill, sander and pipe cutter. I started by cutting two pieces of 19mm plywood to the same size, wide enough to hold a pair of shoes and long enough to comfortably hold three shelves. My copper pipe was 15mm, so I used a 15mm spade bit to drill out three rows of three evenly spaced holes all the way through the plywood. I used the original panel as a template for marking out the second panel and drilled that to match the first exactly. I had some tear out from the drill on the back of my panels, so patched this with wood filler then sanded everything down. All the surfaces and edges got a coat of Danish oil, then I painted the patched side of each panel with three coats of wall paint. The fronts and edges of the panels got two more coats of the Danish oil, then I started prepping the copper pipe. I cut each length of pipe easily using a handheld pipe cutter, and used about 10 metres of pipe all up. Each shelf used three equal length pieces of pipe, and each shelf is a different length because I wanted different amounts of overhang. My pipe was delivered wrapped completely in sticky fragile tape, so I had to clean this off with lemon oil and a nylon scouring pad. Once the pipe was cut and cleaned, I assembled everything. I'd recommend starting with your shortest shelf. I had to trim down some of the pipe I'd used on the sides as I went. For this configuration, I used 16 corner connectors and two T connectors. The shoe rack is entirely self-supporting without any need for glue or fixings, so thread all your pipe through and attach the end pieces however you like. I need to take this apart in a few months time, so decided to temporarily fix my connectors with blue tack, which is holding up surprisingly well. When I reassemble it, I'll use either glue or solder for more strength. My original design allowed space for my robot vacuum cleaner to get underneath, but I forgot about this when I was building and simply fixed the error by flipping the rack around, which I actually like better. I love how I can use the end shelves for plants and other decorative items, and that I can hang things from the pipes if I want, and I really love the touch of colour on the inside of the rack. Splines and Splines is all about making great projects while maintaining healthy work habits, so this project is accompanied by a short exercise video to stretch and strengthen the feet and calves. Check it out. Please hit the like button, subscribe, share and comment if you liked this video and stay tuned for more Spines and Spines projects and simple exercises you can do in your studio or workspace. Cheers!